Hi and welcome everyone. Today we'll focus on latest announcement from FCX team about upcoming new thresholds and tiers for loyalty reward program. So let's start. Here on the FCX website you can see the current tiers and corresponding thresholds which everybody knows really good because they are with us for the last 4 weeks. But recently the team announced some changes. Let's have a look at the newest info in the latest tweet here. Check the latest requirements for each tier. We are adjusting it to the current conditions to make it as fair as possible. Requirements are subject to change in the future. But why are they subject to change in the future? The answer is exactly in previous sentence. To make it as fair as possible. You have to understand that the market and situation is constantly changing and without updates the entire project will be left behind. But some crucial decisions like increasing the weekly reward pool are in community's hands. You as a community member can decide. So take part at ongoing community voting. Please visit the website by clicking the link on the screen now you will be redirected to the voting website. And here we go, 6 days left to cast a vote. The question is, if you are in favor of increasing weekly reward pool from 500,000 FCX to 700,000 FCX. The voting started yesterday and will end on the upcoming Sunday at 10 pm Central European time. Snapshot of the open trust lines will be taken one hour later. So you have two possible answers. Either you vote for yes, I want to increase the weekly reward pool by 200,000 FCX. It is 40% from 500,000 FCX to 700,000 FCX. Or you can vote for no, the weekly rewards should not be changed. Probably many of you are asking now, what will be the reward per wallet? Well, it hasn't been revealed yet, but compared to the current model, the weekly rewards will significantly increase. In other words, no more 5 or 6 or 7 FCX weekly rewards for tier 1. This new architecture will change everything. Unfortunately, if you have less than 10,000 FCX, you will not be eligible anymore to claim the rewards. But this is fair, because many people got the initial airdrop, which was more than 5,000 FCX. So by changing the structure of thresholds, active community members and holders will get fair rewards. As you can see, the current tier 4 means people who have more than 50,000 FCX will be moved to tier 3 according to the infographic. But don't worry, you won't get less reward than now. Please keep in mind that apart from the reward pool structure, there is also FCX rebalancing algorithm. What does it mean rebalancing algorithm? Well, this is some kind of FCX team secret, but the purpose to keep the balance between tiers as fair as possible. In other words, rewards for a lower tier will not be greater than for higher tiers. So for example, tier 3 will not get more rewards than tier 4. The balance is crucial here. And maybe you also heard the rumors about possible additional tier for biggest wallets. Well, there is no official statement from FCX team, but who knows? Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.